Hey yo, this is my um my review of the PlayStation 5. There she is, there she is, there she is. There we are. Here's the new dual Sense 5 controller. I'll show you the box as well. There we are. The box is kind of a little bit, um, I don't know. So it looks kind of, eh, it looks all right, actually. I don't know. At first I thought it was kind of a little bit boring, but yeah, you know, like some things, they just grow on you and stuff. Yeah, like that, 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 the box kind of is starting to, um, I, at, first, at first I thought it was kind of bland and boring looking, but it's kind of all right. Just like with the, um, also the PS5, the, the design of the PlayStation 5. The design of the PlayStation 5, I, at first I thought it was a bit, I thought it was a bit kind of dumb, the way the PlayStation 5 was designed. I thought it was a bit kooky, but it started, it's starting to grow on me and stuff. Although the only thing I don't like is like, um, it's not very um, practical, the PlayStation 5. What do I mean by that? Like the, um, it's not like it has, like you can stand it on itself. It needs like a little stupid stand, which is kind of ridiculous to me, right? If you remember um, the PlayStation 1 and the PS2 and 3 and 4, they didn't need any extra accessories, the, the, the consoles to be put upright and to stand downwards and stuff and be put on their face flat on their face and flat downwards and stuff. It didn't, like all the, all the previous PlayStation 5, PlayStation's not PlayStation 5, all the previous PlayStations did not need additional accessories to like, to kind of, um, to orient themselves and to, um, to make them stand upright and stuff like this and to keep them level-headed and stuff. This is just ridiculous. The PlayStation 5 requires, do you see that? A stand. You need to literally like, attach a stand to make it like, kind of sit properly. That's so dumb. Also, the, the way the PS5, the plates, you know, like the, the plates start from the top, from the from the top and the bottom. That is just dumb. The PlayStation 5 could have been designed so much better. I don't know. They could, they should have, like, they should have made it more practical. You, you know, you do. What do I mean by that? Like, it should have been like more like ergonomic. I don't know. You know, like, it should be able to sit properly without any type of stand or accessories and stuff like that. It's so dumb that you need to like um. You need to like put like a stand under it to make it sit properly. That's so dumb. The PS5, it, like the PS2, you didn't need to attach anything to the PS2 to make it sit properly and to put it upright and stuff. It was just, it was like out of the box. You could just, it sits properly and it stands upright. Like this is so, what the hell, what, what's going on, man? This is so dumb. Why would you need to like add a stand to make a console sit properly and to stand upright? That's so dumb. Such a, like whoever designed the PlayStation 5, man, what were you thinking, you, you, you stupid guy or, some, or girl? Out of the box, the PlayStation 5 should have just been able to sit properly. It should have been able to s to stand upright on its own. It should you should have not needed to like have this extra like accessory, and you need to put the accessory on it to make it sit properly. That's so dumb, and that's what really made me um disappointed with the PS5. Because out of the box, you need to like literally you need to fiddle with it to make it sit properly. That's so dumb. You have to waste time adjusting and fiddling with it to just just to make it sit properly. That's so dumb because you need to literally attach like the separate stand because the PS5 has like this stand, and you need to hook it on, onto his bottom end and stuff and make it, to make it sit properly. That is so dumb. I shouldn't need to waste my, my precious time fiddling and m making sure like the PS5 sits properly. That's so dumb, out of the box. It should have just been able to sit properly on its own. It should have been like that. It should have been like, practical like that. I was very disappointed with that man in that, in that regard with the PS5. Other, other than that, other than like that minor, like that very minor practical issue, the PS5 is um, flawless. It's a very, uh, the controller is perfect. I love the design of the controller as well. I love the design of the controller. It looks um, pretty cool. The thumb pads and the, the different um, buttons and controls and stuff like that. It looks pretty, um, looks pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. It looks pretty cool, yeah, yeah. No, no complaints with the uh, controller. It's that very, that very minor. It's like such a minor practical issue that you need to like um. You need to literally like um, attach waste time fiddling. 
with the play, PlayStation 5, making sure the stand, like, because it comes with the separate accessory. You need to make sure that is attached properly to the PS5. That's so ridiculous to me. I don't know. So ridiculous, ridiculous to me. That's such a, that's, it's such a minor thing as well. It's a very minor flaw, but it's so, it's kind of very annoying to me. I don't know. But anyway, regardless of that, that very minor practical issue with that, with that out of the way, the PS5 is pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much flawless. I was like, I was just kind of complaining about that minor design flaw with the with the console anyway, but it's not really that much of a big deal. But obviously, you know, that that's something that needs to be worked on if like next time, right? You know what I mean? Consoles they should be very practical. You shouldn't need to fiddle around with like your console to make it sit properly. That's so ridiculous. Out of the box, it should have just been able to sit properly and stand upright with no problems. You didn't. You, you shouldn't need to fiddle with it to make it stand properly and to sit properly and stuff. It's so ridiculous. Such a that's like a very minor design flaw in my opinion with the PS5. Okay, but with that out of the way, yeah, the PS5 is pretty much flawless. Here's like the UI, the UI system. I can, I'm just going to show you some gameplay footage of my favorite game on the PS5, which is Batman Arkham Knight. favorite game on the ps5 is batman arkham Knight, but this is meant for the ps4 but i don't know it works on the ps5 Damn, did you see that? Pretty cool Arkham Knight, such a cool game. Anyway. What do I think about the UI? You know for um, PlayStation, the PS1 was pretty basic, PS2 was pretty um okay, PS3 was okay, PS4 was all right, and the PS5, I don't know, it was cool as well. I don't really pay too much attention to the UI that much, obviously. I, you know, in terms of like the UI, and what do I mean by UI? It's like a user interface stuff. PlayStation's way ahead of um, Xbox. I hated the Xbox UI, the in user interface for Xbox. is always so complex and they have advertisements on their UI and user interface. For the, P for the PS5, there is no ads. You don't have to worry about any ads appearing. So much better. PlayStation is so much better than um, Xbox. I've always gotten the P PlayStations. I've always gotten PlayStations when I was younger. I never got... I, when I did get the Xbox, I was always disappointed. So anyway, look, no ads. Because if you get the Xbox, you're going to see a bunch of advertisements on the UI, on the user interface and stuff like that. That's dumb. That's so stupid. It ruins the um, experience. 
It makes it makes it feel like you don't even own your own um, product. The, the, this, the console that you bought with your own money is so dumb that, they, that you have to see advertisements on the UI user interface immediately when you um, when you start up your uh, console. That's so dumb. That's that's the that's why I would never consider the Xbox again. Because if you got if you get the Xbox One and the X, Xbox Series X, you're gonna see ads on the um, on on the on the front page, home menu, and stuff like that on the user interface. That's dumb. PlayStation does it so much better, man. They don't. It's been, like PlayStation doesn't have ads on its UI. You don't see advertisements when you when you just when you like when you start up your um your your console and stuff like that. It's so much better. Yeah. So much better, so much better. Yeah, PlayStation, so cool. Here we are. The controller, by the way, what what do I think about the controller? Well, the controller is a definite, it's a definite improvement over the Dual Shock Four. This is the Dual Sense Five, I believe. Definite improvement. I love it. I love the way the, the new PlayStation Five controller looks. I love it. Love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. I love the new PlayStation 5 controller. And all and the PS5 it looks pretty cool as well. Here's a look, it's just the only downside is um the fact that you need to you need to oh, oops, I don't wanna scratch it up. There we are. The fact that you need to fiddle with it, you need to like worry about the, the stand that it comes with. So annoying. Should I show you what I mean by that? This is what I'm talking about. That is so dumb. So dumb. Yeah, that's the, the fact that you need to um, fiddle around with this separate accessory to make the PlayStation 5 sit properly is so dumb. It makes it so impractical. The PS5 out of the box should have been able to sit properly and stand upright on its own. It should have, you should have not needed to fiddle around with, like, um, with this stand that it came with. Where is it? So dumb, that is so dumb. They have to literally attach like a separate piece. Anyway, did you see that? You have to fiddle around and add and worry about like the the, the 
this extra accessory to make your PlayStation 5 sit properly and stand up right. I saw dumb. It should have been able to sit on its own properly and stand up on its own properly without any accessory. There we go. So dumb, that is so dumb. You see that? That is so dumb. So dumb. So dumb, the PS5 is flawless. It's just that one minor practical issue with it that you have to uh, fiddle around with this extra accessory to make the PS5 sit properly and stand upright. It's so dumb. So, so dumb. You see that? So, so dumb. That is so dumb. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So stupid, man. See that? You have to fiddle with this extra accessory. So dumb, so, so dumb. Anyway, that's such a, that, that is so annoying and dumb. What the hell, whoever made, designed the PS5, why didn't you just make, make the PS5 more practical, make it like stand, sit properly and stand upright on its own. You shouldn't need to fiddle with that type of accessory. So dumb. That is so dumb, man. So, so dumb. Here's the um, PS5 UI system. <laughs> there we go. Other, other than that, other than that, like that very minor type of um practical issue, the PS5 is flawless. I cannot find any type of issues. I love the UI. I like the new the the, the design of the new controller. I love like most things about the PSR. I do not have that many complaints. Just that one minor practical issue that I hate. Oh well, but yeah, the PS5 is right there. It's a good console, man. I love it. Love playing on mobile. Love playing Arkham Knight on it. Yeah. It's a good console. It's just that minor, very minor practical issue. And it didn't have to be like that. They could have made it more practical and more. You shouldn't need to fiddle around with some dumb ass accessory to make it sit properly and stand upright. That was so stupid, man. Flashpoint Batman. Flashpoint Batman is so cool. It's my favorite version of Batman. Anyway, that's a side tangent, but the PS5 could have been like, all they had to do is just make it more practical like that. You shouldn't need to fiddle around with that stupid accessory to make it sit properly and stand up upright. I was so disappointed in that. And whoever like designed the PlayStation, whoever designed the PlayStation Five, like, what were you thinking? Why would you? Why would you make us fiddle around with some stupid accessory to make the PS Five sit properly and stand upright? That's so dumb. So so dumb. That's the only um complaint I have.
It's the only complaint I have. The PS5 is pretty much, other than that, it's pretty much um, flawless. It, it is flawless. It's, it's way better than Xbox, the Xbox Series X. I actually buy the Xbox Series X. I tried it out. It's garbage, man. PlayStation is always above a, always above and way ahead of that Xbox, and that's about it. And this is my uh, my review of the PlayStation 5.